Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today we got some new and updated mods for Farming Simulator 22 to take a look at. For all platforms, we got nine new and one update. And for PC and Mac, we got three new. I make mod review videos every time mods drop on the official in-game mod hub, regardless of what platform they're on. So get subscribed if you're new so that you don't miss any of them. All being said, let's take a look at today's mods. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Lieber TL4367. Now this was a mod that we had in Farming Simulator 17 as a base game piece and then in 19 we got it as a mod and someone modified that mod well the people then modifying that mod have brought it back to farming simulator 22 i love it because this is my favorite telehandler game i love the lieber it's a little slow but not this version it's got 122 horsepower variable transmission 120 liters of fuel 24 miles per hour, which is a little bit bigger than I think 12 is what it was at Farm Sub 17. Weighs 7.1 tons, so it is no slouch there. And it's only eight slots. It's the best of like everything. That's great. And we have a ton of customization for telehandler. This is great. Will Brands, we got Trelleborg, Michelin tires, Midas, BKT, Nokia tires. Uh, in Trelleborg, you've got a standard tire and you've got a big 404 wide tire. Looking good there. Michelin tires are only the wide, but they're the best ones. Midas tires, we've got kind of a standard tire, all said and done. BKT, we do have a standard tire, and we've got those big chunky BKT wide tires that have been super popular in Farm Sim 22. We've even got a couple different Nokian tires as well. So if you want to use this more of like a uh, loader type of thing, I mean, I know it isn't a loader, but if you want to use it like that you can front guard bar yes or no it's going to help with doing bells and just keeping stuff out of your way beacon lights we've got a default beacon light we've also got the led beacon light on there as well both of them do rotate and then fenders no or yes you can throw those on there if you want to this is going to be all around I kind of like it without, but then I kind of like it with. So it is what it is. And the rim color, you've got gray or yellow if you're gonna do one, maybe more construction work, or if you just wanna use this around your farm. Well, there you go. This right here is probably the version that I would go with. But there you go. That's the Lieber TL4367, my favorite telehandler in the history of Farming Simulator. Next up, new for all platforms, we have the Strauman Terravitas CFS5201 Do. <laughs> D-O. Uh, here's your specs right here. You can see all the good stuff. Uh, it is a loading wagon, so it's only going to be able to hold forage crops. Do know that ahead of time. As far as specs, we have a 50,000 liter capacity, making it one of the largest ones that we've got in game, if not the largest. We also have a 4 point, 14.7 ton uh, thing and it does weigh 240 or it does require 240 horsepower but take these two numbers into consideration you need 240 horsepower to run it and it weighs 14.7 tons so you may want to get something that's got about 400 plus horsepower to run this you'll be just fine 12 miles per hour max speed on this bad boy and it's only four slots we do have some neat customization as well at least for the wheels we have trelleborg michelin tires bkt and Vradstein in trelleborg we've got nothing crazy there in michelin we have a standard and then we have standard two plus we have a standard three and a wide tire so many different options there and similar story here in bkt although it's just standard and wide tire there Brad's done. Similar story here as well, but we do have like four different setups. A lot of tire options. Really digging those wide tires right there. So that's pretty sweet. And then silage additive tank, you can add that on the front. Yes or no, it's going to add an extra $2,000 to it. And that's it. Stroutman Tariff Test CFS 5201. Do. Also making its return was one of my favorite trailers, just because of the name of it. Uh, one of my favorite trailers from Farming Simulator 17 that was a base piece. This is the Flegel, um, those three letters, 298. I don't know how to be family friendly with that, so I'm just going to say bottom. Will Brands, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin Tires, Midas, BKT, uh, and Frostyle. You can't change any of those up, so do keep that in mind. 48 thousand liter capacity 8.1 tons and it's only three slots it's also a bulk crop as well so you can hold literally everything you can even put stones in here if you want to so that's pretty cool and that's it not a lot of customizations pulled by semi truck so uh semi truck so make sure you got one of those and it is a push style as well so that's very nice anyway the flegal bottom 298 I'm going to get in so much trouble. Your next new one for all platforms today is the Lizard Cultivator, but it's not what you think. It's two meters, not three. 
This bad boy right here, we've got a couple different things. It does weigh 750 kilograms, so that's kind of the weight you'll need to put on the front when using this. 30 horsepower required, so not a lot. Two meters, as I said, and nine miles per hour. It's going to be two slots for you guys. As far as setups go, we've got a uh, nifty little wheel set up here for the back. Got a little roller they'll throw on that. It's going to add an extra 100 kilograms. And it's tiring me already on counter plus one. <laughs> one neat thing, we've got color options and I love this. You guys know if something's a really tiny cultivator but it's got color options, I omit it from the three meter cultivator rule. Though this, uh, well, this gets away with it anyway. Anyway, it's really cool. Got some great color options there. Not all of them, but it uh, kind of limits you. I like this, it's very cool. Again, lizard cultivator. Get at it. Next, we have the K-Brand Deltas 1302 MTA3. It is back, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a fertilizer and herbicide sprayer. Uh, you guys are probably used to this because we've had it for a couple games now. It came as a DLC in 17, and we had a base game in 19. Well, it's not here in 22, but it's here now. So, ta-da, 13. 100 liter capacity it does weigh 1.1 tons so if you want to put an extra weight on the front one ton uh, weight will be perfectly fine has a 21 meter boom spread at seven miles per hour and it's going to take up five slots so it is quite detailed for what it is not a whole lot here it's just a hooked up sprayer but very very nice details now that is all of our vehicle and tool mods but we do have a couple placeables for you guys this next one is going to be the sheds. Yep, <laughs> lead up to nothing there. It's just sheds, but we've got four different pieces. So you've got two carports, plus we have two, I don't know if these are European or, or American styling, but they're, they're a little bit older. They look very used and I think that's great. Definitely gives some character to it. Let's start off with kind of the smallest one. For $20,000 and three slots, you can get this right here. This is just, Sheds, that's, that's it. Next, we've got sheds, and it's gonna be four slots for you guys. This is gonna cost $25,000. Moving up to the larger sheds. That's that's what it's called. Great names on these, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Five slots on this one, and it's going to be $35,000. And then the largest version of them all, sheds. This is going to be five slots as well, but it's going to cost you $40,000. It does not come with the bird flying around, but you can get out of your bird. You can do that if you want to. Uh, take a look at this. A lot of time and effort's been put into these, and I really, really like it. They look great. Modder did a really, really good job. Uh, uh, Rojot G Play did a good job. Did a good job indeed. Check them out. Sheds. Those aren't the only sheds that we've got, as we've got a couple more as well. This is a set of two shelters, aka the Bell and Vehicle Shelter. This is from Razak. These are going to be pretty low on slots, only three slots each. They're both going to cost you $25,000, and they're both going to be $15,000 per day. The main difference is this version right here, you can walk through the sides, and this version right here, you can only walk through a couple of the sides. So uh, think about where you're gonna be putting these, think about how you're gonna be placing down vehicles and sheds around it. Uh, this version right here with the closed off sides, this might be better in a, you know, a long way. So maybe you're pulling in a semi truck with a trailer, maybe you're pulling in a couple different things that are a little bit longer. Nope, oh, this would be perfect for it. This version right here would be better off for those of you, maybe you're pulling things in short ways. Like this, maybe you're backing in a, a you know, cedar with a tractor and then a fertilizer spreader or something right that there. You could go either way. And also, it's look really good. Check out the wood on these. And then you're different as well, so they don't just look exactly the same. Again, a lot of work has gone into these. Just I know they're just sheds at the end of the day and a lot of players could care less. <laughs> I'll admit that. But these, a lot of time and effort went into these. So definitely check them out if you're looking for something good to use. Your next to last new mod for all platforms is the Garden Lights Pack. This pack of four small garden decorative lights. If you guys are looking for these, unlike the previous things, which are pretty easy to find in sheds, this is gonna go decoration and lights, and they're gonna be right here. So 350 bucks each, except for the last one, which is gonna be $1,000. A little, a little hot right there on the price. And these are also going to be two slots each, which little, again, little heavy for slot usage, but 
it is what it is. Blend Art did a good job on these nonetheless, and it's 0.69 megabytes, so you really can't complain a whole lot. And at night, they are super bright. And your last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the Water Fountain. This is a small source decoration, which also supply your greenhouses or whatever else you need to give water to. It's gonna be 500 bucks, no daily cost. That is nice. It's gonna be two slots. What they, the uh, trigger, <laughs> a little bit high up there. Uh, also, there's no actual water in here, um, as we got in Farm Sim 19, with moving water, things like that. And here, well, it's just some blue stuff. So there you go, nonetheless. Water Fountain. Your one mod update for all platforms today from Blue Onion Modding is the Massey Ferguson 8700S. This is gonna be changelog 1.0.1. Minor bug's been fixed. A black option has been added. We'll take a look at that. We've also got daytime running lights have been added. Original warning signs have been added. Wheel options have been re-edited and the mod and store icons have been changed. You can see right there, it looks very, very good man that thing's looking great so let's go with configurations this is how you're going to change it up so you've got standard or you got black if you go with standard you don't have a wheel option however if you go with black you do get a wheel option and you could change those black as well so how cool is that that's pretty sweet uh those of you that played farming simulator 17 and you were on the playstation 4 you may remember this because this was a special version that only you guys had was that, well, it wasn't the S, but it was the Massey Ferguson 8700 and you were able to have the black edition. I had one of those. It was one of my favorite series I've ever done on PlayStation 4. It was on Oakfield. I had a great time. Nonetheless, so there you go. That is it. Check it out if you're interested. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. And the first one is going to be the Asylum Multi Snow Bucket. This is from North Bonnet Company. And before you ask, yes, there will be a console version of this coming soon. They're working on that right now. Uh, this has two individually controlled side flaps as it did in Farming Simulator 19, which are easily controlled from inside the cabin or outside just by using controller or mouse keyboard. In addition, the bucket and side flaps are provided with reversible wheel steel edges from all phosphors. Those are the little um, orange, no orange, blue. <laughs> Don't know my colors even. This is gonna cost you 11 grand max with the five meters. Holds between six and 9,000 liters of snow um, or whatever else you wanna put in here. One of you cool thing about this, it's a, it's a bulk bucket. So there you go, check it out. It's awesome. There's <laughs> an extension on there. Uh, you got a couple different design options too. And we've even got different edges for the bottom. One thing to note, this is for wheel loaders only. So you're going to need a wheel loader if you want to use this. Your next mod for PC players today is going to be Power Pack. This is literally just heavy lift mod. If you guys are using the Power Tools, aka F12 mod, well, it's enabled in that by default. So if you don't want that, but you do want to still be able to lift stuff up, well, here you go. The Power Pack is here. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players, and your last mod today, Manual Combine Discharge. Thanks to this modification, the combine is unloaded manually by pressing the appropriate button that is the I key look the letter I it's above the J and the K but I'm not joking and I'm not just kidding it's above the I all right let's just go to the outro <laughs> and that is it for today's new mod video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you learned something new about the new mods if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the Gohan fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel I've already dropped the news video so if you guys want to go check that out Make sure you do that. Comsden Farm is in testing. We also hear a little bit about the TLX Phoenix, which is going to have pallet auto loading for all platforms. And oh yeah, Michigan Farms is coming back. Pretty sweet. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.